I want to welcome all my American friends who may be watching live or watching later. And I say happy Thanksgiving. You know, this is my favorite time of year. You know, I've been doing some research and I understand now that, uh, you know, like in Canada, we celebrate it earlier. And uh, that's probably because our growing season. But I also found out that we started celebrating it before you guys did. Oh my goodness, but I think all over the world we needed this holiday because we need to know how to give thanks. But uh, let's get uh, more into that. Um, actually, we'll get more into that. You can check out lots of stuff. But anyway, this is the Live Light Loop for Thursday, November 24th, 2020. Yeah, that's a, a story actually caught me off guard the, this year. I um, I don't know if it's true. I haven't done the research, and actually, but it seems true, because um, apparently, like, who who said to celebrate? Was that Abraham Lincoln for you guys to celebrate on this day for Thanksgiving? Because you know it's really important. Um, we had a whole lot earlier, apparently, and um, yeah. I, I just, I'm not saying we got there first. I just, my, I, I'm just saying, I always thought that we just copied it from you and just had it earlier because of the weather here. Because uh, while it's nice right now, it is no fall day. <laughs> yeah, I know technically it's fall on the calendar, but um, there's snow on the ground. And uh, it, I think it's melting today. But anyway, it, it won't all go away. We live in that, I live in that part of the world. I uh, just want to remind you about Live Light Academy, and Live Light Academy is, uh, has books and courses and resources and community and coaching to help you not conform but be transformed so you can have peace and joy and hope at all times and in every situation. Now, one of the things that I wanted to tell you about today is, oh, this slide again. Yeah, what's in the works? Uh, this, is, this is for the community because what uh, I've, I've tested it, the technology is going to work. And now I just have to uh, get it set up and set up the links. We're going to have Conversation Cafe face-to-face -face again over, over this network. Not this network, but another one I've got set up. And uh, we're going to have times of prayer. We're going to have coaching and group coaching. Now, I know for sure the coaching and group coaching is just going to be for people who sign up for the group coaching and coaching. Uh, Conversation Cafe is going to be reserved for the ones who are part of the Live Light community. And uh, I can put the link behind there. Prayer time, though, I don't know how. I might keep that open to anyone who wants to come. And uh, just that's what I need to set up on, the, on that end. So um, we'll get that all set up and get going. Uh, I am learning a whole bunch of other stuff in a whole bunch of different areas right now. So that's why I'm a little bit, little bit behind on developing things for Live Light Academy. But still, things are in the works. Take a look at this. Uh, check. I want you to check it out. I've got a, uh, an interview for Soul Seers. This is my first novel that is now available on Amazon. And I... Uh, you can find the review. I've linked it to the Soul Seers uh, widget on refdrive.link slash books. It's kind of at the bottom because on livelight.ca, my book counter is all through the uh, place. I should actually link it on trevorland.com too. I will do that momentarily after I unfinish this. But if you go to refdrive.link slash books, you can uh, read the interview I did with Valor. Uh, with Valor. I don't know what their company name is, but anyway, <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing it. Doing it. And actually, um, I, I remembered a story from probably the first time somebody spoke into my life about being a writer. And uh, it's a fun story. It's a true story. I did an almost true fictionalized account as a kid's book a few years back. But uh, this is the actual story of um, 
you know, the first time somebody said, you know what, you could be a writer. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so check that out, revdrev.link slash books. Go to the bottom, find that Soul Sears. That's probably a graphic like that or um, one like it. And uh, right in the, the text beside there, you can find that link for that interview. Now, podcasts, the most downloaded podcast this week out of 155 episodes in season two uh, was the message, consider yourself better than your, consider others, consider yourself better than others. No, consider others better than yourself and uh, got to get that right. Uh, and you can find that one at reftrap.link slash hotpot. Now, the most uh, interacted blog post this week, this is fascinating for me. This was the blessings from the book that I probably did up last year. But the podcast, I have peace at all times. And in every situation, uh, that got the most interaction this week. So you can check that out at revtreb.link slash hotblog. And you can check all of these things out on the RevCrev um, Live Light app at revcrev.com slash app. And uh, if you're Android or Apple, you can download it. I, I've, I've been using an iPad lately. I got the iPad so I can be doing more writing on the screen when I do these live casts. But uh, I found that it's bigger and I can look at it more. The app doesn't look that great on the iPad, actually. it's You see how it's nicely spaced on that? iPad does it ugly, and I don't. Yeah. Anyway, it's still you. I can still use it, and I still do. But um, it looks great on the Android and Apple uh, phone. And don't forget about the Wellspring. That the this week's Wellspring went out today. Just a couple. What time is it? Probably about an hour ago. And uh, thank you for everyone who's responded already to that. And the Wellspring is. I want to say weekly. It's been weekly lately. I've got the next five weeks ready to go. So up until Christmas, up until the new year, I should say. Yeah, we're ready to go with the Wellspring. And it's new, fresh content for you. And we're in a series that's uh, about the awe of God. And this season after Thanksgiving, that we're coming into this Christmas season. And it's a really great season for us to be still and know that he is God that he is God with us, that he is always with us, and that we can be with him. So uh, that's what we're d d dwelling into in the Live Light Wellspring. And uh, sign up for that uh, for free at Live Light, uh, Ref, Live Light, .link slash wellspring. And as always, you can connect with me on social or in person at treverlund.com. That is my writing site, and I will try to get the link to that book interview uh, on this page as well, trevorlund.com. But you can check that out uh, anytime. And finally, what you need to know, this scrolling scene, if you're listening to this podcast, you don't see the scrolling scene in front of me. Uh, what you need to know, you can become an affiliate of Live Light Academy and get 30% uh, of any traffic that you send us for people who buy the courses and resources and uh, the community. And so you can sign up today at revtrap.link slash partner. Thank you for being a partner of Live Light Academy. And finally, Carpe Vitae, seize the life. Celebrate with your family if you're celebrating Thanksgiving. If you've already celebrated it or you don't celebrate it because you live someplace like New Zealand, or England. Um, <laughs> and yes, I know. <laughs> All over the world. Hey, this is a Canadian invention this Thanksgiving, and I think it's something we should export to the world. It is an awesome thing. And uh, I know other cultures have different times uh, that they celebrate Thanksgiving, and it's, uh, you know, around Thanksgiving. And uh, they're, they're thankful during their celebration, in particular, I should say. And uh, it's a wonderful... It, Really, what thankfulness does, gratitude is a game changer. It's one of the three gratitudes, grace, and uh, uh, gratitude, grace, and generosity. That's the third. Those are the game changers in our life. And what gratitude can do is uh, when we choose to be grateful, 
we have to do it with our whole heart. Give thanks with all of your heart. So you make the decision to be grateful. You, uh, yeah, you show some appreciation in some way. There's an action attached to that gratefulness. And uh, you feel that, that you feel grateful. You, you have that moment of just, yeah, I am thankful for this family that's around me. I'm thankful for those friends that are across the street. I, I, it, there's something that happens when our heart and our decision and our action. So we choose to be thankful. We show appreciation. And uh, we feel that emotion. And we're thankful with our whole heart. Simple as that. Anyway, even if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving today, be thankful with your whole heart. I'm Trevor Lund. Have a great day.